the screen this this version of Manable the screens are a little bit um, erratic but they usually you can usually get them to settle in right away this screen is the um, the Manable uh, 3d render view and in order to see the Manable you have to click on calculate 3d okay so now we can see the Manable so the only thing that we're going to focus on are modifying the colors so let's get to it what I want to do is I want to zoom in so that we can kind of get to see the detail and how the colors flow over this mandible. Okay, so to do that, I'll go to Navigator. Open up the Navigator. Let's move it up a little bit. And if we're going to walk in, basically, it's to truck in forward to get closer to it. And you, you can use your uh, or W key on your keyboard, zoom in, or you can tap on the uh, forward arrow. So I did it twice. Let's do it three times, four times, five times. Great. So if you have anything close to this, it's fine. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to, um, I want to send this information over to the render view. So to do that, you click on view to main, and it sends it over to the render view. Now we can close this window. And then to see what the image looks like in the render view, again, you have to click on Calculate 3D. You may have to click it twice for some reason. Okay, so now we can see how it looks when it's rendered. Okay, so we want to jump right into the colors. To go to start modifying the colors, you have to click on the Lighting tab right here. Just open up, and you will see the Lighting tab and on the fourth. We're really only going to focus on Diffuse Color. So let's open that up. Just click on this and open up the fuse color. And if you see a panel like this, you, if you have to move it around, you can kind of move it out of the way, but you still want to see all of the controls. Okay, so obviously you can see the colors and where they are on the mandible, but let's dig in a little bit deeper to see exactly what's going on here. Okay, for one thing, you see that you have a stack of colors right here. Well, let's see, what is that about? So let's let's just, you can just drag these over and you can start to see how the rendering modifies here is getting lighter. What's that in, what, what's going on there is these colors are starting to, to stretch into the mandible. Over here, they're basically completely out. And then when you start pulling them in, you start to see how they start to come in. So you can actually see how all of the colors are related to this mandible. Now what this is, is that this is the complete color range that's on this mandible. So basically you should be able to pinpoint or have an idea of where these colors fall on this object. So let's, let's see how we can get a little bit more of a clear um, ex, ex, uh, example of that. The one thing I like to do is I like to modify all the colors so that they're they're all the same but before we do that i'm going to um uh completely eliminate the the specular color what you have here on the top of you have in the white you have transparency then in this bar here where it's mostly yellow this is a specular color and then you have the diffuse color so we're going to take the transparency and just make it it, it already is 100 percent opaque um but the, the specular color, we want to change it to where there's no specular color whatsoever. In order to do that, we can modify the random color attribute. If we hit this right now, it's going to give us it's going to hit it's going to give us a bunch of random variations on gray. So, and you keep clicking that, it's just going to change it, but it's within the gray family. Okay, so if I want to make this just a solid gray, which is this is the color. I could take this to zero. That means the randomizer is going to be this. The randomizer is zero, and now you can see this is all gray. If I change this color to black, which makes this no specular, hit OK, and and then hit the randomizer again, it's going to turn it to black. Just so to be clear, if I put this up to let's say two, and hit the randomizer, it's going to randomize it, but it's going to randomize it with a factor of two okay so now let's go ahead and put this back to black take this back to zero 
and hit random again and now we have no specular so now we're only going to be affecting the um, the diffuse color now I want to make it one color and I'm going to make it a, a red a reddish color a kind of a muted red color right here and hit OK I'm going to take the random down to zero and then I'm going to randomize it and you see the whole thing turns this kind of a clay red clay kind of color okay so now to see where the colors are actually located um, there's a couple ways you can do this um, you can move them all to one side and just say okay let's just mess up this one color so to hit the color you have to go select over the color and then right button mouse click and it opens up the color control and I'm going to put a an extremely uh, contrasting color here let's go with a bright let's go with a, a light uh, turquoise okay now you see so this is telling you the range is like just mostly the blue so what happens when we slide this back over then you can see that the 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 so these are basically affecting the let's say the spawning aspect of the of this mandible where it spawns these little kind of barnacle things okay and then it kind of recedes into the crevices and so then this this may be let's just click on this open this up and put another different color in here let's say a green and see what happens okay so it doesn't show anything but if we move this over it should start spawning in the in the uh, barnacles so the barnacle aspect starts to kick in like right here um, I want to go ahead and uh, set up something for an animation so we'll do a little bit of review on the colors I'm going to reset the random colors here I'm going to set it to a, a gray color and hit random and now it's gray so and I want the I want the crevices to be like darker so I'm going to add in the black to the crevices here and see if I can get that to um, if we can uh, pull that a little bit higher into the objects field and then I want to look for an accent I just want to put like a very cool kind of um, blue not too bright I'll pick this bright one and then darken it down a little bit you have to click on the color the, the, if you click on the slider it won't move you have to click on the color or you can enter some numbers in there so we got this and we got this little blue light thing here but it's not it's not so I'm going to turn off the uh, uh, sliders and move these um, move this up let's let's just move these out of the way here we don't need these at all and pop that in there and move that open so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, I try something different here let's try let's put another black one over here and then I want I want to put a color that's coming I want to put the blue to come out of the crevice so I put that blue there you can see it there but let me see if I shut this down yeah I can do it like this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate this coming up like that and then record the animation and that's all that's all we're going to do okay so now to record the animation you have to go to the uh, animation editor um, basically you go you have to go back to the navigator open a navigator panel and then down here in the lower left hand corner you see a thing called any keyframe animation keyframe and also you know you can look at these uh, helpers it says generate an animation keyframe from the actual view okay so let's before we do that let's add this this view which is all the new parameters over to the preview and you do that by clicking on parameter boom and now we can see the preview has all the colors in the view so now let's go animate keyframe it's going to open up the animation window 
the animation keyframe window with an animation already set. Now these settings, are, are, let's just leave it at that and we're going to talk about this in another video, but you don't have to change anything for this one. The, 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 the preset is perfect for what we're doing. Okay, so now I'm going to give it, I'm going to add another keyframe here just to give it a little time to um, start up. So it registers before it starts animation. Hit another keyframe. And then we're going to, I'm going to modify the color to uh, to start to mo move in the blue, and we can see here in our preview how it, you know, how it's moving in. And I don't want to do it too much. I don't want to blow it out. So that's enough. And then I'm going to hit another keyframe. I hit another keyframe. And also, I want to I want to move the camera a little bit. So you can play, you can have fun with this, but don't go crazy because you're going to lose the view. So I would just click like, I want to I want to slide over to the left. So that's that's this one. You can just hit slide over to the left, and then I want to move look down a little bit. So this one is looking down, and then I want to move in a little bit. This one moves in a little bit. Okay, hit, I hit that three times. And then you have to hit a keyframe again. And then I just, I want to, just to give it some motion before it stops, I just want to like roll it one way, a little bit like that. And then keep moving it in a little bit. And then hit another keyframe. So that's all I want to do for the animation. And from there, you can see how everything just you know, will work. So let's, to hit the animation, you want to go to the animation maker view and you can see all of your frames here. You can actually click over and see your previous frames and you can click back to the last frame. And then you, to render it, you can have all these settings here, but I said, we're going to use default and then go ahead and render. To render out the actual animation, you have to Go ahead and you can set your directory, go to the output folder. It doesn't work. So I, it has to, if for some reason it won't make a new folder on my desktop. I have to go inside of an, an existing folder and then I can make a new folder. And I'm gonna call that um, blue something. Okay, and then I need to open that. And it's it has a name, there's a way to name it, but I don't have that ready for you right now so I'm just going to hit open and that's now it's you can see right here it's saving it to this folder that's on my desktop and again all the all the settings the presets are going to work just fine okay um, and then here you have to hit start rendering animation images then um, and that's it you, you saw the animation in the beginning and now you're going to see it again in the end thank you for watching if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Refer anybody that's into the art world. This is some new, so this software's been around for a while. I'm gonna see how there's ways to use it within your creative production pipeline. It's a very cool piece of software, and it's free. Thank you for watching. Come back, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos. And remember, imagination is free. Creativity is freedom.